నమస్తే అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు రియాక్ట్ పెట్స్ ఐఎమ్ సో గ్లాడ్ టు బి బ్యాక్ ఐఎమ్ దామోదర్ లోని అండ్ టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ యాప్ రైట్ ఓ డాట్ వన్ త్రీ ఎస్ యాప్ రైట్ ఓ డాట్ వన్ త్రీ హ్యాజ్ రీసెంట్లీ లాంచ్డ్ అండ్ బ్రింగ్స్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ కూల్ న్యూ ఫీచర్స్ అండ్ టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ దోస్ అండ్ వీ విల్ సీ సమ్ ఆఫ్ దోస్ ఇన్ యాక్షన్ వాట్ వీ విల్ డూ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఇస్ వీ విల్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ two new things that came with upright order 13 the new and upgraded upright cli as well as upright's latest function and we will write a simple cloud function with dart and deploy it in upright using upright cli and it's so cool that it's now so seamless to create and deploy functions with upright so let us get started if you have not subscribed please subscribe like and share my videos give your feedback if you have any confusions do not hesitate to ask questions leave comments and i will get back to you as soon as possible okay upright op 13 brings so many cool new features among them the three most highlighted best features of upright o13 is first if we go to the stories now we have stories buckets much like collections in database buckets are collections of files so we can have multiple buckets and each bucket can contain lots of files and buckets comes with some additional settings like what kind of files are allowed inside bucket what is the maximum file size of files that are allowed inside bucket and different permission level like bucket level permission or individual file level permission we'll talk about these in detail probably in another session and next is the upright cli cool new upright cli and finally another is the upgraded functions so here we do not see any change to the function not much has changed here however the way the function works and the performance has improved by a lot i mean a lot and the internal working mechanism have been totally built from ground up to get to this level of performance and building or writing functions with new upright cli and new functions runtime is very easy to get started with we will see it in action in just a bit to learn more about these things you can go to if we go to upright io slash docs and if we visit the individual guides let's say for functions we can see what are changed and how to write new functions for each runtime that is supported and then if we go to the cli documentation upright cli getting started section then we can see cool new features of upright cli where we can log in we can initialize project we can even initialize collection we can initialize function okay all right let's see all of these in action let's get back here i have a development environment set up and as you can see i'm using gitpod here if you do not know what is gitpod you can visit gitpod.io i've been using it extensively and i like it very much first we need to install upright cli dash j upright cli okay you can install it with npm or you can go to the guide i just showed and use this installation script for your platform okay but i prefer npm as it's already available to me hit insert and it should install upright cli see it's installed now upright once the upright cli is installed we can just run the command upright login and once i hit this command i can log in with my console username and password that we sign up when we install upright and we need the endpoint for me it's
uh, I misplaced the endpoint. If somehow you typed wrong endpoint, you can simply do app write client double hyphen endpoint and then you space v1. This is how you can correct it and then you can run login again. This time it will not ask for endpoint and yes successfully logged in okay. Now the cool new feature is we can create a new project when we run AppRite init project. However, I would like to create a project in the console and link it here or we can even link this to the existing project. So if I run AppRite init project, let's zoom in a bit so that it's easier. So if I run AppRite init project, it will ask me whether I want to create a new AppRite project or I want to link this directory to an existing AppRite project. So let's say I want to link this to an existing AppRite project. Now this will get the list of all the AppRite projects that I have under my account or that I have access to. Okay, let me link this to Playgrounds project. Success and once it is successful, an AppRite.json file is created where the settings are set. Project ID, playgrounds, project name, playgrounds, right? If you want to link this folder to another project, you can manually change the project ID and project name as well if you want to. However, I don't want to do that now. Next, I want to create a new function and I want to do it using Dart. Okay, so let's see how to do it. In order to create a Dart function, we can simply do app write init function. This time we are initialize a initializing a function. We can call it Dart hello Dart hello world, and this will be Dart two dot one six. This will initialize a function. Now, if we look at the AppRite.json, we can see that we have a new section here, new property here that is called functions and we have one function. If you want to give it a custom ID, we can do it by changing this value here, dot hello world. And then if we go to our functions, we now have a folder dot hello world inside live, we have a main dot dot file. Previously, if we wanted to write a Dart function prior to AppRite 0.13, we could simply write a Dart script and deploy it. However, with 0.13, function signature had changed. So we need to follow a particular pattern in order to write a function. So our entry file must have a function, a synchronous function that is named start and that accepts two parameter request and response. And if you look at the comments, the request comes with headers, payload and environment, whereas res comes with or response comes with send and JSON, two different functions. All right. And this is the function where we can do what we want. Right now, the starter function is importing app write and everything. So let me just comment these out. We don't want this all this at the moment we just want to see a simple hello world function deployed okay yeah right now we are just sending back a json that says our developers awesome true and this is a simple hello world function in dart with the new functions runtime that is released in app right hooded one three now if i want to deploy this function now it is very simple enough by using again app right cli so what we can do is we can use the deploy command app write deploy and we are deploying function. It will ask us to choose which functions to deploy because we can have multiple functions. Right now we only have one. So I can select this with a space and hit enter. This will 
deploy the function by creating a tar file whatever it is it has to do now that it has been successfully deployed if we go back to our project or upright console in functions we can see our newly created deployed function and if we go to settings we can see it's still building it might take some time to build and be ready and once it's it says ready yes it is ready we can now execute the function i can execute data is optional so let's just say execute if we go to logs see this 0 0.005 seconds that is 5 milliseconds and it's completed we can see the output our developers awesome true and the crazy thing about this release is we no longer have to deploy our functions along with dependencies dependencies are handled by runtime because app right now has a build stage in the runtime that builds our deployment and handles the required dependencies so in the pub inspected ml we have dart app right instead i want to use a simple package let's add http package dot add dependency http http has been added let's go to our main dot dart let us import http and let us make a simple get request to a json placeholder api to get a list of to do's so here dot get uri parse this is a json placeholder api i can say equals await and this will return a response object and then i can just simply return response data here instead dot body this will be a string i can do json decode response dot body p dot convert now we are using different dart library as well as a dart package we are making an api call and then sending back the json that we get back from the api call so our function should give this as output so let us deploy again app right deploy function select the function hit enter deploying function success let us go back it should be building next deployment is building let's talk about why this is so fast in the previous version of app right each execution created a docker container and ran the code script that we deployed and then it would give the output however with upright order 13 the runtimes are now web server themselves so that once the runtime is created we are just making a web request or http request to the functions runtime that is why synchronous function is possible as well as functions are so fast now our new deployment is ready and it's already activated we can hit execute now i can say execute now and then we can go to logs and it failed let's see why no output error growable list dynamic is not subtype of map string dynamic of json ah okay so what i can do is go back here this is list so i can make map data here i close so now this will be map string dynamic let's make this string dynamic so we don't have a type problem so json expects rest or json expects string dynamic type let's deploy again enter and again it will take some time it's building it's ready and activated we can tap execute now and we can go to the locks it's very fast see in 27 milliseconds 
it has done the API request and got us back the result and okay there seems to be some issue as the result is large it seemed to have truncated here i'm using a upright version order 13.0 but i believe we already have a fix for this the truncated result we already have a fix for this in upright order 13.2 make sure to check and update let's get back for now i want to make a request to get a single to do and deploy our function again it will take some time to build if we go to overview it's ready let's tap execute logs 30 milliseconds output see we have the data so this is how easy it is to create deploy and execute function with upright order one three and not only that the functions are so much more powerful so much performant so much faster and above that we have synchronous executions of function so we don't have to create an execution and wait for the result we can create a synchronous execution and get back result immediately from our functions i hope you like this video Thank you again for watching this video. See you again in another episode.